It was supposed to be a routine test, but almost everything went wrong. The recently commissioned RBMK reactor in Sosnovy Bor near Leningrad did not behave as expected. The consequences were catastrophic. On November 30, 1975 engineer Vitaly Boritz, who was sent to the Leningrad nuclear power plant from Chernobyl for training on the RBMK reactor, unwittingly witnessed the most serious accident in the history of the reactor. That day he decided to stay at the power plant after his shift to see how the reactor would behave during the gear switching procedure. Reactor shut down and switching from one mode of operation to another. The unpredictable reactor it quickly became clear to him that there was something wrong with the reactor. Operating at a low power level, it began to increase the intensity of the radiation, even though the operator tried to slow down the process by inserting additional control rods into the reactor core. Typically, the intensity of the ionizing radiation decreased as operators increased the number of control rods in the core where the nuclear fission reaction was taking place and releasing nuclear energy from the fuel channels. The RBMK reactor at the Leningrad power plant, however, behaved differently. Even when an experienced operator, who had impressed Boritz with his skill, inserted additional rods by hand, this did not slow down the rapid increase in radiation intensity. The reactor behaved contrary to expectations. According to Boritz, the reactor was out of control. With his experience in operating reactors, he knew that if the surge in radiation levels was not contained, there could be an explosion. Imagine yourself driving a car, he explained the next day to a security officer who had little understanding of nuclear physics. You start the engine. You set off on the road. You accelerate without a problem. You shift gears. You drive at 60 km per hour. You take your foot off the gas pedal. Then, all of a sudden, the car starts speeding up to 80, 100, 120 km. You brake to no avail the speed continues to increase. How would you feel? Radioactive waste in the atmosphere of a reactor was stopped twice by the safety rod activation mechanism, an emergency system that stopped the fission reaction. An explosion was prevented, but a sudden increase in the force of the nuclear reaction caused one of the fuel channels in the reactor core to melt, releasing uranium. The reactor was stopped. The next day it was purged with nitrogen, and radioactive waste with radioactivity equivalent to one and a half million curies was released into the atmosphere through a ventilation duct. One curie corresponds to the activity of radiation released when 37 billion atoms fission in one second. It can contaminate nearly 10 billion liters of milk, making it unfit for consumption. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency, the safe level of radioactive contamination is 5 curies per square kilometer. No one knows what impact one and a half million curies had on people and the area around the plant, including the city of Leningrad, which is less than 80 kilometers away. The RMBC reactor could have been improved it was never explained to Vitaly what the malfunction of the reactor was and he had no idea about this significant flaw in its design. This information was shrouded in mystery. The designers of the reactor did not make any fundamental changes to the RBMK model instead, they issued instructions to improve the design of the control rods, without explaining why this should be done. These instructions eventually became part of the recommendations of the commission that inspected the fourth reactor at Chernobyl. However, everyone considered the rod issue to be of secondary importance. The lessons of the Leningrad reactor accident had not been learned. Many improvements could have been made to the reactor, but the main task of operating the plant was to produce energy, not to develop new reactors or improve existing ones. Repairs could have waited.